what part does mobile play in the overall uh, strategy of SAP? SAP, if you walk around the show uh, here at Sapphire, you'll see that it's permeating just about every kiosk that you visit, right? Whether it's consuming the information from analytics, uh, whether it's playing a, a role or in a part of a user story about Internet of Things, uh, whether it's uh, around Fiori, around mobilizing Fiori. So it's really, it's really everywhere. It's in across all the lines of business, uh, industry business units. Key products well, we are working on, and it as I said, it's uh, first it's the end-to-end -end mobilization, and in that we have our mobile secure cloud with the different elements of the mobile device management, of the mobile place, for, uh, which looks like a, a, a enterprise app store, but it's at the back end, it is really a mobile uh, app management and a close integration into N MDM and the back integration into the development environment where we come to our SAP mobile platform where we, uh, in an on-premise fashion, uh, deliver the, the, the API aggregation abstract, uh, abstraction of uh, complex APIs for doing offlining, for doing um, uh, authentications and all the good stuff you need to do for mobile. And here, what is really the beauty is, on top of it, we have a harmonized SDK and APIs, which are the same for our cloud offering, the HANA Cloud Platform Mobile Services. So here, when now the company talks about HANA Cloud Platform, when it goes mobile, it's our mobile services. And if, as a customer, you start with us on-premise with the SAP Mobile Platform, you will see the same APIs and SDKs. Your app will maybe even run more or less immediately on the HANA Cloud Platform. And for your people, it is the same development experience as before. And on the development experience, we are currently working heavily with our colleagues in SAP uh, together on the uh, Web IDE, the HANA Cloud Platform Web IDE, which you can use really on Fiori apps to extend them, to build your own Fiori apps. And what we deliver into is on the one side all the mobile services so that you can immediately see them and in a full-fledged IntelliSense mode get it uh, uh, resolved when you type in a command. And at the same time, we offer what we call the hybrid application toolkit, a way that also a hybrid uh, application developer has a very nice uh, test and debugging environment without having the hurdle to get a, a complex native development environment installed. We are focusing on uh, yeah, three or four different areas that we are currently seeing as uh, most important. And one is really about customer experience. So, which is uh, engaging better with our customers, improving the customer experience that we have with our different solutions. For instance, also our omni-channel solution that we are offering around hybrid, yeah, how we call it, that's the solution name, to really bring the customer better experiences online, pick, buy online, pick up in store scenarios, use all your mobile devices to, to get the best experience that you can have. We are also offering or focusing on operational excellence which is mainly about, for sure, to improve the efficiency that telcos have with uh, cloud solutions, among others, but also with our core solutions. And uh, the next topic that we have is also you know, around new digital businesses. So we really want to help the telcos also to move from their traditional revenue streams now to get over to new revenue streams. Yeah. So because they are heavily under pressure, as we all know, from OTT players and the decline in traditional revenue that we can see tremendously declining. And we really want to help them to come up with uh, new solutions and possibilities to overcome that by, for instance, monetizing data, acting as a service provider for cloud solutions. And all of the three layers that we have, so operational efficiency, customer experience, and new digital business, we have now a new development also ongoing for big data so that we really want to provide insight into all of these areas and be here the foundation for the telcos in the new world. We took about responsive design and mobile and now with Internet of Things, whether it's uh, you know, a watch from Apple or an Android watch, now you can rethink that user story. And as I, as I mentioned before, it's permeating all the different use cases, all the different applications. So now we need to go back through and help our customers and help our industry business units rethink what that implication of that one new gadget type is. And so now you multiply that, you know, whether it's uh, partnerships, if, if you look in the industry, things like Google Nest, where you're rethinking how you manage your home. And there's new value points that are being created as, as the industry uh, uh, really rethinks itself 
triggered by Internet of Things. And people will say, well, Internet of Things, it's, it's hype, they, you know, it's not going to live up. Well, the big thing is it's a catalyst to cause us to rethink things. Mobile is a device of the consumers, and we enable the businesses which run SAP to get onto the devices of the consumers and to be in a close touch relationship with these customers. This is what it is about. And what he really means is the consumers today have power and decide very fast. And you better are aware of it by mobilizing, by having certain insight analytics, by even having predictive capabilities. And we have this mobile piece of it. Data-driven economy uh, will be led by metadata-driven user experiences. So things anticipating, you know, we've used this theme here at the conference, anticipating things before people know they even need them, right? And that gets into the context-aware and your context-aware computing and, and the change in mobile and user experience around that. So it's that anticipation. And then in each industry, we think it'll be a little bit different in terms of monetizing that. Is it, is it ads? Is it simply enhancing a key business process where it's a you know, very expensive process like field service with predictive maintenance? You can take that uh, data and turn that into a predictive maintenance event rather than a break fix event. And that's all linked into mobile. It all sounds great conceptually, but there's a long line of things that have, have to happen. And the beauty of SAP and mobile is that we have applications out like inventory manager and work manager that have already embodied many of those steps. And now we're just enhancing it with a little bit more predictive uh, insights on the front end. So we are offering different possibilities here and one is a solution that we have also just recently announced during last year's Mobile World Congress which we call Consumer Insight 365 and uh, that solution is really about that we offer a solution where we can get information from the telcos. We anonymize this information and we cluster that information. So which can be information about location of customers, the age of customer, so that we can say around a certain store, maybe around a Starbucks, at this point of time, you typically have people in the age of 15 to 18. But during a later point of time, the typical age range around your store and that location is between 30 and 35. And this is then an information that we can sell and we can share revenues here with the telcos. And this is where also the SAP comes into play with our broad focus on so many different customers that we think that this is an interesting model that we can support here. Uh, we just recently uh, announced the, uh, uh, our uh, partnership with Google on Android for Work where we very closely work together from day one to really help here with our insights into the business to bring Android closer into uh, the business. We work closely with IBM on the um, uh, 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 mobilization also in the Apple environment. So um, I think it's uh, across the board, as it is always as, as the Switzerland. Uh, we work with all of them and we make it the decision of our customers. We, we have come a long way and we are now also changing SAP dramatically from, from formerly an ERP vendor, where we are now have focused on business intelligence, where we have added mobility to our client database and technology, and now we are in a heavy shift to the cloud. And by cloud, this already implicates that you have to do innovation much, much faster. And we are now already launching our products much faster than ever before. So on the cloud side, we can have really um, frequent updates, like weekly updates, if not even daily updates, and even for our on-premise world, we are trying to bring innovation much faster to the customers in a quarterly basis to really support our customers to go through that journey as well that we are facing as well on our side. Security, I'll start with Internet of Things, right? One of the biggest challenges is if you look at the use cases and you look at the residue, right? Some of these new objects that are coming into our world will have memory and there will be residue there. There'll be content, though maybe it's as simple as a phone number. If you're a celebrity, to, you know, that one phone number that you leave behind in that car that you borrowed now becomes a huge privacy issue for you, right? So it's those advanced use cases where we think our combination of having mobile security and analytics can help you through, through uh, risk-based management uh, in context-aware computing, prevent some of those, detect the threat before it happens. You know, so for example, you're traveling in a foreign country. Okay, you have a profile around that. Well, let's tighten things up a little bit. You're tr you, it, as opposed to you're tooling around your neighborhood near home. You know, there's a little bit of a different trust level that you can set. 
So it's those advanced use cases that are key around security. Whenever you, you have now a new, a new generation of network, for instance, a new infrastructure, that has for sure also an impact on the business side. So we as SAP are mainly working on the BSS domain, but even here we see a lot of um, yeah, changes in the, in, the, in the whole infrastructure and also the impact on that. Just to give you an example, so now when we talk about 4G networks, so this is totally different, not only that it is virtualized, yeah, that we talk about that from the OSS side, but also you want to offer and make that then relevant on the BSS side. So just to give you an example here, when we talk about data volumes, so we, 4G networks are much faster, but you still have the problem that, for instance, you have to limit the capacity, the data usage that customers can use per month, because this is just too expensive for most of the operators. But what you want to do is you don't want to punish your customers. So you don't want to tell them, sorry, you used all your data, and now you are reduced and your, your usage is throttled. But what you want to do is really to maybe incentivize the customers. And this is where we come in, where we try also to combine that gap with the new infrastructure and new processes to improve the customer experience. For instance, notifying customers at once, saying, your data volume is almost reached, maybe in a couple of days, but what we offer for you is, for $2, we give you an unlimited upgrade. So to really help our customers and improve the customer experience in that. So what our customers at the end want, they want to have an end-to-end -end mobilized business process for their advantage. So that things go smoother, easier, cheaper, faster, whatever it is. And this I have to ensure. For this I have to build different technology stacks, uh, I have to provide different servers, different cloud services, and different uh, development environments. But at the end, it needs to be an end-to-end -end experience that our customer can achieve what he really wants because he doesn't want to do mobile device management as such or a mobile application development as such. What he wants to do is to give his workforce, his partners, his consumers an outstanding mobile experience for his and his customers, partners and employees advantage.